Hi everyone, so today I thought I would film Minstrel's Christmas Cage Tour. Unfortunately I was a bit on a budget this year because I did buy her this huge new enclosure so I didn't have much money to spend on loads of new toys and treats for Christmas but I've just made a few DIY things and spiced up with some cheap decorations that I had laid around the house. So I hope you enjoy. For those of you that are going to ask, this cage is from eBay. It's actually a run but I'm using it as a cage because my flooring is like lino so I don't need to put a base down as you can see. So um, this is just a big run. It measures six foot by four foot. It is plenty big for one or two or three or four guinea pigs. It is a really, really good size. So I would really recommend it. And um, it was from eBay and it was about 30 pounds and it was from Bunny Business and I'll leave the link in the description so you can find it a lot easier. So I will start off with the decorations around the cage. The first really obvious thing are these fairy lights and these are just multicoloured fairy lights which go all the way around. Um, they're just along the button and she can't see them, she can't reach them so you don't need to worry. Because they're Christmas tree lights they're really awkward and they have lots and lots of wires of it everywhere but I don't think they look too bad and I'll just show you them wrapped into the tinsel. The fairy lights are also weaved all the way around the tinsel so it just looks extra Christmassy and sparkly and I really really like it so you can see the lights, it is in broad daylight so the lights don't show very clearly but I'll try and get a clip of them at night where they glow really really nicely and it looks really really pretty. And then she has these two pieces of tinsel, she has a three foot one in the blue colour and a three foot one in the purple colour and once again I think they look really festive and pretty. I'm not a big tinsel fan but I think it looks nice only a little bit around the edge of the cage. She then just has these icicle decorations as you can see they're two little purple icicles and she has loads more along the side and as you can see she has loads more down the edges and all the way around the back. The door is a really really nice size so I can interact with her really well and this is how I usually access most things. So if we start off here she just has this hay ball which is stuffed with her hay and she absolutely loves eating her hay from this ball which is really adorable and she also has the little woodlands basket just there to eat her hay from. Again she really enjoys eating her hay from baskets like these. And on the side she just has these cardboard cutouts which are Christmas trees. These are just cardboard and stuck with wrapping paper. That one she can't chew so it's up higher which is why she can't reach it. But this one she can reach and chew if she wanted to. And I think they just look really nice. They were cheap um, to make but they look really good once they were done. And then as you can see here is just her fleecy um, fleece and underneath the fleece is a box and this is just to raise the fleece up so she can jump it because it is a really like high jump for her but she does it with ease even without the box but I just put it in here so she doesn't really have to fling herself over and she just has this treat ball with a few apple snacks in it uh, but it's just one with the carrots and she doesn't really know how to use this yet but she is intrigued by it she then has her nibble bowl which I'm just going to fill up with pellets it's all filled up now and look who's come to see did you hear the pellets? Did you? <laughs> hello? Hi? Hello, hello? Hi? Hi? What do you want? Your food? Do you want your food? <laughs> your food's over there. Your food's over there. So yes, she just has her bowl and her treat ball there on this fleece and the rest of it is just for her to run about and she loves to sit on this fleece and grab her veggies from me because I usually sit very close and I hand feed her. And then she just has the base of her cage which is about 90 centimetres and in her cage um, she just has her hay, her fitch and her newspaper and she just has a hay rack here which is the woodlands one which you can't really see but that's just what it looks like. And she also has a two-in-one dental tube there, which is just untreated wood with a stuffed chlorophyll and parsley filling, which she liked on one side but doesn't like on the other for some reason. And she also has her chill and chew mat, which she loves to chew and shred, and that just sits in her cage upright usually, but she's knocked it down. And then there's some of Minstrel's lovely droppings because she's a very messy piggy. She then has her water bottle here on the outside and this is just a medium sized one but it's plenty big for her and she also has a garland 
down the back which is a flower one which she really likes and you can see her hiding in her hay and above the garland you can just see her big paper chain and this is stuck on with sellotape so I've put it high enough so that she can't chew it because there is sellotape on it so um, that's just hangs like that but if I used a bit of PVA glue then I could put it lower and she could shred it but she isn't really interested in it altogether so yeah that just hangs all the way down that side and that's actually a paper chain that we had last year in one around the hamsters cages but yeah she really likes it so I've popped that up there. Down this end she just has this heart fleece which once again has nothing underneath because she doesn't tend to do anything on it. She has a little willow twig here, a jingly ball from the bunny shed one, another jingly ball from the bunny shed one, a big willow ball which she quite likes chewing. Down there she just has her cardboard box covered in wrapping paper. She also has Corny the Owl, a stuffed dog, her chew tube and a corn rattle roller. She also has this strawberry house which I recently bought for her for Christmas but I've already given it to her and I really like this because it's red and it looks quite Christmassy. And then she has her bendy log bridge which she loves to sleep under. So that's just what is in this corner down here. Thank you for watching her Christmas cage tour. I hope you enjoyed. Here's another quick overview for you to see. Um, I will hopefully be back with a room tour very soon. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And we'll see you next time. Bye.